So the main star of this project is Dollar Tree Tower Game. And I did purchase three of those so that I could make the six blocks that I wanted to make. I actually ended up uh, having enough to make an additional block, um, which helped because I was able to um, kind of test it out beforehand. But what I'm doing here is I'm just putting three of the um, pieces of the game together and I'm just gluing the sides, or uh, putting glue on the sides so that I can attach them. And once I get three of those put together side by side, then I will um, add three more on top, but instead um, of going the same direction, I will put those in opposite directions. And what I'm going to be doing is just putting glue down on the um, surface of the three that I had glued and then adding the other ones on top. You can see me doing that here. And I just took a part of a clothespin and used that to kind of smooth my glue out because I was actually putting too much on there and it was oozing out. Um, but you can certainly do that however you want to. But I just st stacked them crisscross um, back and forth until I was able to get, I think it is five um, stacks in all. And that did make the size block that I wanted. It wasn't quite two inches, but it was almost. So anyway, I really like the size of these blocks. I think they um, turned out really good. Now here I just printed out some um, poems that I wanted to use on my blocks, but they are on white standard copy paper. So I decided that I was going to make those look more vintage by um, putting them in some hot coffee. I did put those in there and um, I put them in a dish that I knew they would be able to completely absorb the liquid and soak um, to the bottom. That way I could get them all completely covered and I just left those in there probably for about 30 minutes while I was doing some other things and then once um, those had time to seep, then I took those out and patted them dry or patted them with a paper towel so that I could get off the majority of the um, coffee. And then I laid those out on a drying or a cooling rack, sorry, um, so that they could uh, finish up. So right here, I've just got my blocks that um, are all put together. And now is the sanding process. I laid my sandpaper down and I just on each side rubbed it back and forth to smooth that out and I just flipped the block over until I was able to get all sides of that. And then next I decided that I wanted to um, rub the corners or edges of each side of the block to make those smooth as well. And then the last step was to get the little uh, tips off of each edge to make those nice and smooth. And um, I don't know if you can tell or not, but I am holding up two blocks side by side so that you can kind of see the difference of what it looks like once you get your sanding done and all of the points or edges are off. Now I am going to just take some white paint and paint the block on all the sides. I think I did apply, end up applying like two coats to each block. Um, and this is just white acrylic paint. It does dry pretty fast. Now it's time to add the pictures to my blocks. And I just took some images that I printed out printed out off the internet and um, basically what I'm going to do is just measure those and to the size that I want them to be on my block. Now I did measure them a little bit big for my block because I would rather them be a little big and cut them down versus too small. So as you can see I'm just measuring it up here. Once I got the size that I wanted for one of the images, I just laid them down on the other ones and traced around it so I could make sure they were all basically the same size. Once I got all of my images cut out, I just kind of laid them out so that um, put and categorized them so that I could see them really well when I was getting ready to glue them on my blocks. And then that way I could just grab the ones that I wanted to go with, um, which ones I wanted to go together basically. So, um, what I ended up doing is putting um, two poems on each block and then I um, put four pictures on each block and I just rotated them around um, putting some Mod Podge on it, gluing it down, flipping it and then continuing on until I got every one of the images on each block. And then I did of course do this for all six blocks. But um, once I got done getting all of my images on, then I went back over each image with some Mod Podge, but I did have me a little um, 
bowl of water and I just kind of dipped my paintbrush into the bowl of water and then I dipped it into the Mod Podge so that I was thinning that out a little bit and it wasn't quite so thick um, coat that I was putting on each individual block. And you will have to wait until um, all of your sides dry before you can get the bottom section just because the way it's going to have to sit um, you know to dry but it doesn't take the Mod Podge very long to dry and I just wanted to show you what the block looked like after I did that um, this is prior to sanding um, get to give it the vintage look and then I also decided when I had put some images on the other blocks to round the edges I just think that it may help a little bit more in the sanding process but as you can see here I'm just going um, and taking some sandpaper and just going over all the edges again um, this time to remove any of the white paint and also to um, you know maybe scuff up the paper a little bit on the edges to give it that more authentic look and as you can see um, each edge and how it's roughed up and then I just took a beauty blender or a sponge dipped it into some brown ink and then just rubbed it on the edges and um, that's it. I think that it just turned out absolutely gorgeous and I'm so happy with this project. But I wanted to show you these side by side. I did leave some of these blocks white and they're both beautiful even if you just um, did not do the ink part at all. Um, I really had a hard time deciding which one I like best. I did only do one block with this um, brown around it. I actually really like the way this looks but I also like the white too. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose three different blocks and do the same look to and then leave three white, at least for now. I can always go back and add um, brown if I do want to finish those out, but um, I did want you to see what this looks like. I have the flash on and there's also lights. So you can kind of see a little bit of a glare, but I did Mod Podge these. So when I did the final glaze though, I did mix the Mod Podge with a little bit of water to kind of thin it out some so it wouldn't be so thick. But anyway, I just wanted to show you what I did was I did like four pictures on each block. And then I also wanted to do, first I was just going to do like a little storybook um, words or something like that. But then I decided that I really wanted to do some really pretty um, poems or something that was um, kind of like dealing with spring and Easter. I had a desk calendar that had a lot of Helen Steiner Rice poems that were fairly um, short. So I did retype those and print those out um, and then shrink them down to where they would fit on the block. And so each block has two different poems by her um, on each uh, one so that people can pick it up and look at it and see those. But um, I'm like super excited how these turned out. I think they're absolutely gorgeous. And um, that one wasn't quite tall enough, so I had to do something there. So I might, this definitely will probably be one of the blocks that I put the brown around because I can probably somehow disguise that. But um, I did want to show you each side and what it looked like on each block. And I just went on the internet as far as the images and Googled Easter vintage uh, printables. And this is um, the images that I got to come up. Now, I did have to play around with um, the size of them a little bit. So um, all I did was I copied them and I pasted them into a Word document. And then I was able to, um, you know, adjust that um, on the size that I wanted it to be. And I did have to print it out a couple of times to get it right the way I wanted it. But um, it turned out really good. And if you don't have access to a printer or anything like that, now you can kind of see the blocks through here, but I don't think it's that big of a deal. Um, but if you don't have anything like that, you can use old cards that you've got. You can use pictures out of books, postcards, magazines. Um, you can even put pictures, like regular pictures of people on these. Um, just cut it the size of the block and then um, you know glue it down and then Mod Podge over it. I love this one, it's so cute. And like this one, this image was uh, a nest and there was a house in the background. And so I just took the nest off of that. And so, um, you know, a lot of magazines that have like country living or ideals, I know they don't produce that magazine anymore, but um, you know, you might have some old ones laying around the house and so you can definitely cut those up and use those images on your blocks. And anyway, I wanted you to be able to see all sides of these. 
and then this. And if you have any images that you feel like are too white and you want to um, make it look a little bit more antique, like I said, just um, you know, do the coffee staining technique. And also, like on the bottom of this block, it was really white and it didn't really match the rest of them. So I just took a little bit of ink and dabbed that around the bottom, but this is probably going to be one of the blocks that I also um, do like that one. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Um, you know, this technique was um, not hard at all to do. The only thing I can say is that it is a little bit time consuming because you have to do a lot of sanding on the blocks and stuff to get them the way you want them. But, um, you know, once you get that done, the rest is just putting it together and you can buy the blocks. Um, I will leave a link down below. I did find some on Amazon for, I think you get 12 for $9.99. So anyway, this was a very fun craft and very beautiful. And um, I'm just probably gonna set these in various different places around my house when I get my Easter um, decor out. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.